white jacket to trigger Hillary Clinton. There you go, Hill. Are you ready to make history tonight and make some liberals cry? The world first got to know me on the courtroom steps right here in New York City. And they thought they could take the greatest president down through lawfare, with lawsuits, fake charges, raids, and endless investigations. They thought that was okay. They thought they could crush the man who built this city skyline. But they underestimated how hard President Trump would fight, fight, fight. This rally has rattled some of my favorite swamp creatures. Hey guys. They're now scrambling and trying to call us Nazis and fascists and claiming, yeah, and you know what they're claiming guys? It's very scary. They're claiming we're gonna go after them and try and put them in jail. Well, ain't that rich? Kamala, you want to talk about a fascist? No one has ever voted for you to become a Democrat nominee. You see, I believe in something called the Constitution. And I believe in someone called God. courtrooms. He won the hearts and minds of the American people all from this city. You see, the deep state, they underestimate how smart we are. And they want the American people to fall in line like a bunch of sheep. You know what they don't realize, New York? We're going to be the ones herding sheep out of the White House on November 5th. Because Kamala Harris, you are getting evicted from my president's house. Let's not forget one thing. Kamala said she wouldn't change a damn thing. And look, look, it's okay. She must be proud of her record. She's got a lot of them. Record inflation. Record crime. And record boarding crossings. With over 325,000 children who are being sex trafficked murdered and missing. Those are the records you hold, Kamala. Look at my family. I love my family. And don't... Yeah, that's my family right there. By the way, where's my Trump administer people? Let's go, Trump. Don't get me started on my boy, Tampon, too. You know, Timmy, in the words of your wife, we are ready to turn the page on your indoctrination of our children, your tampons in boys' bathrooms, your deadly fentanyl pouring into our country through your wide open borders, and your inflation that is crippling hard-working American people. He claims to champion women that he pushes policies that under-women every, every single woman here. By the way, they can't even define what the hell a woman is. Get the hell out of here. They think we'll be fools that will believe their empty promises and be 
bribed with garbage like loan forgiveness and policies that will cost this country and my children's America trillions of dollars. But we are smarter than that, New York. This is the party of strength, resilience, and a voice that echoes around the world. Our voices cannot be silenced, and this movement will not be stopped. So when Letitia James, Alvin Bragg, Jack Smith, We are going to right this ship. In nine days, you'll make the choice for an America that works for we the people, not the powerful. So, Nancy, it's time to sell your stocks. Take the cabal packing. The Clintons and Obamas can get out of our White House because America has had enough with you all. Bye now. In nine days, it's your turn to cast a vote for the man who's been in the trenches with you. The man who gets back up every time they try and knock him down. They thought they could break us. They thought they could scare us. They thought that they could jail us. And they thought they could kill him. What they don't know, what doesn't break you makes you stronger. New York, let's show them what we're made of. Let's take this all the way to the ballot box. Let's stand tall for our president, for our city, and for our nation, because New York, we don't just survive, we thrive. And on November 5th, Donald Trump will tell Kamala one 